You are warmly welcome to Joshua Okwe online. Max, I'm so happy to have you once again. And thank you for always visiting my channel. This channel, if you come to visit this channel in daily basics, in no time you will become a mathematician. As in this channel will help people to understand and believe and conquer that fear, the phobia they have in mathematics. Because mathematics remains the sweetest, the simplest subject of all time. In our class today, we will be talking about algebraic processes. We started it in one of our videos that we've uploaded, and today we want to take a little part from algebraic process. So for you to benefit mathematically from this video, I encourage you to please watch this video from the beginning to the end. We have different aspects that we'll be looking at today. First one, imagine that you have um, different alphabets and then you are going to do what collect something like collect their light terms. How do we do that? There's something we'll watch out for. For instance, you have something like this. You have x plus 2y minus 3x plus plus 4y. Maybe you see something like this. The question says simplify. Simplify x plus 2y minus 3x plus 4y. Simplify this. What does it mean to simplify? That means they want you to do what? Pick the ones that are common, the like terms together. And from this board here, we can see that this is x, this is y, this is x, this is y. So when we say like terms, like terms means those ones that are having the same alphabet, like s and s. These and these are like terms. These and these are also what? Like terms. So what are we supposed to do? We are going to do what? Bring them together. But while bringing them together, there's something again in mathematics that we want to also bear in mind. That the sign attached to them, like this sign you are seeing here, this minus belongs to 3x, this plus belongs to 4y, this plus belongs to 2y, and this x you are seeing standing here, there is a sign there, and that sign is what plus. So as you collect light terms, you bear those signs in mind. So when we collect the light terms now, we have x, I'm going to bring this minus 3x plus by now. So this go minus 3x, and then we have 2 plus 2y. You have to collect them along with their sign. So this is what plus 2y. So you take it, you take the plus along plus 2y, then plus 4y. So this is what x minus 3x. In other words, it means you have x, you have x, and you are only someone 3x. What will you do? You will pay the x you are having. If you give that person x, you are still owing that person two more x. That is the of x minus three. So minus means you are owing, and plus means what you have. So this is plus x. That means you have one x, and I'm owing you three x. So what am I supposed to do? I will pay you my. I'll pay you one x, and I will still be owing you two x. So that owing. In mathematics means minus so minus 2x so this is plus y plus 4y that means i have 4y and you gave me extra 4y i have 2y and you gave me extra 4y so altogether what do i have i'll be having what 6y so this is your answer so you are simplifying you can decide to rearrange this to be what 6y minus 2x and that is it that is what you mean by what simplify so when there is now you see something like this, simplify this algebraic, this algebraic expression. But that is what you want to do. Just collect light terms. But while collecting the light terms, your attention should be on what? On the sign. On the sign. Okay? Some of you wondering, okay, you are collecting light terms. I thought that when I'm collecting light terms, the sign changes. No, not in all cases. This is not an equation. The signs are not crossing any equality sign. It's only when they cross a quality sign that the plus change to minus and the minus changes to plus. So this is one aspect of what the bright process. Please feel free, pick up your day, look at any point in time, go through them, definitely you'll be able to understand them. There's another aspect again of all the bright process again that sometimes people find it difficult to carry out such operation. 
Sometimes we see something like this. For example, you have an example, or maybe in the exam, you are asked to simplify again. Maybe simplify, let's say 6, 6a minus 3, open bracket, 6a minus 3, minus standard bracket again like this. So 3 plus 2a. Question say simplify. Simplify this algebraic expression you are seeing here. Open bracket 6a minus 3, close bracket, minus open bracket 3 plus 2a. What are we supposed to do? So bring, we do this, say 6a minus 3. Now, this is where the work comes. Look at this minus you are seeing here. We are going to use this minus to open this bracket. In other words, multiply everything in the bracket. Now, remember I told you that when you see a whole number standing, there is a sign in front of it. And that sign is what is plus, a positive sign. So minus times plus, minus times plus is what is minus. So, and then 3. Minus times plus again is what? Minus 2a. So what do you do from here? We now collect like term. Just like what we did there, we collect what? We collect like collect like terms. So when we collect like terms, it means bringing together those that, have, that are common. Like this and this, they are common. But if you look at it, this minus 3 minus 3. So we know what to do. So this is what 6a. This is minus. This minus belongs to this two a. So you bring it, you carry them together. So this minus two a, this minus three, minus three. So six a minus two a will give us what? Four a minus three minus three. I'm owing you minus three, and I'm owing another person again. I'm owing you three, and I'm owing another person three. All together, how much am I owing, or what am I owing? I'll be owing six. So that is the mean of this minus three minus 3. So minus 3 minus 3 means what? Minus 6. And that is it. That is the answer. You are doing what? You are simplifying this. You are simplifying this expression. So it's not difficult. The job here, or the main point here, is on what? Opening the bracket. Please watch out for this. Watch out. Always remember that when you have something like this, you're going to use what you're having outside the bracket to do what? To open or multiply whatever you have inside the bracket and then after that you do what you collect like terms and you know what by collecting like terms you look out for those that are common this is a this is carrying a and there's a here so this and this are like terms this does not have any principle to do that and that is exactly what you see what you've done here let's take another aspect again sometimes again you can be given maybe they will give you the value you can have value for instance you have something like this I can tell you that, okay, if x, if x is equals to 3 and y equals to 2, you see something like this. If x is equals to 3 and y is equals to 2, you see a question like a, find the value of, let's say, 5x minus 2y. 5x minus 2y. This means that all you need to do is just simply... You substitute or you replace. That is the meaning of substitution. It means replace. Wherever you see S, what they say, they say S equals to 3. So what happens? Wherever you see S, change it to what? To 3. And then take note. This does not mean that when you put 3 there because of 53. No, this 5S means 5 times X. 5 times X. So what does that mean? Since X is already 3, so this is 5 times 3. Minus 2 times y. The value of y is what is also 2. So 5 times 3 is what is 15. Minus 2 times 2, 4. 15 minus 4 is what is 11. So this is it. So you can also, we can also have questions like the bottom line is anytime you are having something like this, all you need to do just to do what? Substitute or pull the value. Change the value of whatever you are having. For instance, s. Substitute into the expression given to you, and then you get whatever that you are looking for. So this is how you simplify all this or find the value of 5x minus 2y when x is equals to 3 and y equals to 2. There are other aspects of this algebraic um, expressions too that we also need to process is that we also need to look at, and that is algebraic expression, algebraic equation. 
when you talk of algebra equation, it's just like this. It's just like this. It's not difficult also. It's a very simple something, a very simple, um, um, a very simple topic also on that algebraic process that you can easily understand. But for now, we want to stop here. In our next video, we'll be uploading and explaining how we can solve equations in other algebraic processes. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the video. If you enjoy what you have watched today, I encourage you to please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the subscription um, button and then the notification button also, so that whenever I post a new video like this, you will be notified about them. And then, most especially, share what you have watched, share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to drop your comments and even like the video. Once again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.